Italy. So, the area I'm living in, St. Bart's, we've got a subway down there, graffiti everywhere. Everyone's got tag names here, tag names there. And if you was in the flats in, um, in Breeden, is it Breeden Avenue? There was Sam Gould, I think it was around there and whatever the other one was. Um, blocked even in there. All graffiti everywhere. And not that I'm ever influenced by anything that I might see on television or hear on the radio, but I wanted to do it. So, probably with some money I got from time, I got myself a marker pen. And I went out into the street, and what I did, right, oh sugar, <laughs> T-O-A-D-82, in case I forgot what year it was, and scribbled on the garages and on the walls, Toad 82. Hadn't got a clue what that name meant, but it's going to be my tag name. So I went round the garages in my street in a black marker pen, Toad 82. My mum would never know it was me on my garage. I'm not doing it on here. Toad 82. <laughs> School desks, Toad 82. Or what I would do sometimes, just to spice it up a little bit, A L F with me compass. Anybody know what ALF stands for? Animal Liberation Front? Yes! Because I remember that in the Will and All precinct, everybody was smashing the butcher's windows because meat is murder. And so I started penciling it in, well not penciling it, with me compass, putting it on the desk, just because everybody else was doing it. So yeah, bit of graffiti in the streets, causing trouble. Not too much trouble because I didn't want to get a clout. And then, we were at school, and one, one assembly sat there. Let's see if I can find a well, I don't know why I'm standing on my tiptoes, because I can see this without being on my tiptoes. I think I'm just getting over dramatic here. <laughs> right. Oh, yes. So we sat there. The record player's opened up again. And the teacher puts this record on. We're all sat there. I sat there on the floor, listening, and I'm thinking, I've heard this one. Alas, head teacher's playing a record that I know, and I know because I've collected it in my little book with the charts in, and I know that this is number one, and I know that it's called Ghost Town, so what's she going to tell me that I don't know? Well, she turns around and says, this band are number one, I'm thinking, I know. She says, they're the specials. I know. And then she said, they're from Coventry. God hits the floor. <laughs> Coventry? They're from Coventry. I didn't know that. Something good coming out of Coventry. But I'd only ever seen bad things. Flats being broken, cars being burnt, strikes, trouble, graffiti. Now there was something good coming out of Coventry. And I think I must have sat there a little bit proud that something good had come from my city and it was a record that I knew. I didn't have it. Mind you, I remember as well, the brothers, I think, because I was a little bit too young, they had a pair of winkle pickers, black and white winkle pickers, under the sink, probably next to the air dye. But anyway, yeah, that was the first time I felt proud about Coventry. And there was me, going with me graffiti everywhere, making it more of a mess. Bit of a bad lad, weren't I?